I'd say from the standpoint of a pet owner as well, uh, looking at dietary ingredients when you're reading, I'm a label reader, and when you read the label and it says byproducts of this and meal of that, and you start to wonder what exactly does that mean, what exactly am I feeding my pet and what I eat this myself, you have to really take a deep breath and, and make a decision, am I going to go with this choice or is there something better? And when you compare it side by side with a list of ingredients that says, you know, chicken breast and blueberries and cranberries and you know, rice or what have you, these the things that you recognize and you can pronounce on, I guess, an emotional basis, you can connect more with that food and you have a little more trust in that food than when you can't pronounce the ingredients and everything is a byproduct, a meal, a mash, or some fiber additive. Um, I also feel that it's very hard to make a formulation of a diet that truly comes to the same combination of nutrients that a whole food would give you. Say you take a blueberry and you break it down into its basic components and you try and chemically recreate that, it's still not the same as a blueberry. So that's a basic way of thinking about it. Just because it has the same list of components doesn't mean it's really the same food.